I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to get ready to fight. You see, in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, it talks about you need to be able to fight the good fight of faith. Listen to me. The devil is after you. Why is that? Because you have a target on your back. Because see, you're a child of God, right? Even in the natural, when you see a football game, everybody wants to tackle the man with the ball. Why is that? Because see, he's holding something. He has a prized possession. And it doesn't matter what it takes. They want to get you down because they want to stop you from scoring. And God wants to use you to be able to score a touchdown for the kingdom. Some of you all, your eye may look just like mine in this spiritual fight. The enemy may have knocked you down, but I want to remind you of one thing. Listen, failure is not final. You have to get back up. How do you get back up? The Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. So the more I get in my word, the more joy I get, the more I understand that greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world and that I'm more and a conqueror and i'm here today to tell you if you lose everything in life and all you have is jesus christ you got enough to get started again once we get the revelation of who we are in christ right who we are and whose we are we belong to god we're here for our purpose our eyes start to open back up right the swelling starts to go down we start to realize you know what i think i can win this thing the devil may have knocked you down in rounds one two three four five but all that stuff don't matter that's in the past right but when you get back up guess what the crowd start to cheer all oh, the crowd is on your side the angels on your side your family is on your side everybody's on your side and they rooting for you god is your cut man he's in your corner he knows how to make the crooked thing straight see he can make that incision with precision that leads you to make the decision to say, you know what? I think I'm ready to go out there and fight. I think I'm ready to go there again. I think I'm ready to get back into the word again. I'm ready to be a better husband. I'm ready to be a better wife. I'm ready to be fully submitted to the Lord. I'm ready to walk in my purpose. I'm ready to stop entertaining negativity and fully focus on what it is that God has called me to do. So I'm challenging you to get back up. That's right. Get back up. We all fall down, including yours truly. I got knocked down several times in my life. I promise you, I've been knocked down more times than you realize. But I made a decision a long time ago. See, when I was lost in the world, when I was drunk as a skunk, passing out, drinking so much, when I was completely lost in the world and I was leading a lot of people astray. That's right. I was leading a lot of guys astray who was following me. I was leading a lot of women astray, sleeping around, multiple women doing all kind of stuff in the world. And since God saved me, now I'm on a mission to talk to millions of people about his word because that's how valuable it is to me. See, the gospel is the good news. What is good news according to you? If there's a hamburger shop that just opened and you bite into it and it's juicy and you like it, you're going to tell everybody at work about it, everybody at school about it. Why is that? Because see, it's good news according to you. So the gospel needs to be so good that you can't keep it to yourself. Listen to me. I can't keep this word to myself. I know how lost I used to be out there in the world. I know how lost that I was, but now I'm saved. I'm redeemed. I've been set free. I got back up and now I'm standing 10 toes down for the law. And guess what? I'm going to tell everybody about it. I need you to get up off the ground. That's right. Get up off the ground. Don't worry about trying to make it a whole year. You just focus on this one day right here. You just worry about winning this day. You just worry about standing up in the ring and God going to take care of the rest. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to click the like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I will defeat the devil. Because that's right, you are more than a conqueror through Christ. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.